Hello, welcome to another tutorial for uh, Patty. This is uh, about the use of the uh, G13 external keyboard, that's a gaming keyboard. Um, 22 keys, 3 layers, little joystick here, which is not a proportional joystick, but uh, as we'll see, it's, uh, it can be used uh, quite nicely for picture editing. It has a little LCD screen that Patty is not really using, so there's some other stuff running there. Um, lots of gamers are using this very cheap, uh, very sturdy, uh, and kind of nice to have sort of your hand on this as you're running. Now, uh, what we have to do here is we have to teach Patty how to use this. Uh, the way these work is there is a um, there is this uh, program, the key profiler, um, and we need to load uh, the Patty profile into it. Uh, fortunately, that's all preset, and then we need to teach Patty. Um, that we have a G13, which is um, a task of five seconds. So first thing you need to do is obviously run the profiler um, that you should be familiar with if you have the uh, G13, and we're going to import Patty, the Patty profile. Now, where do you find this? Uh, uh, you install Patty, and then in the Patty for Lightroom uh, directory, you will find device templates. Go on there. There's the G13 template next to some others. You copy the path. Um, uh, un unfortunately, this thing is not drag and drop, so I can't just take this and drop it here, as you can see, so I need to remember the path. So we copy the path, no big deal. Go to Profile, Import, um, and you paste the path here, and then you should see the paddy.lgp. Uh, and we're almost set. Now, very important, two things. We need to um, do some settings that are impossible to do in these profiles. One is Edit. Profile settings, we need to teach it where we find Adobe Lightroom. Um, typically, you find Adobe Lightroom on the uh, C drive under Program Files, Adobe, Lightroom 4.2. You can see this is 4.2. Here's Lightroom Exa, that's what you want. Um, so if you upgrade to 4.3, 4.4, and, and, and whatever else comes next, we will need to update this link. There's no way around this, unfortunately. Um, the other thing, very important, you need to lock your profile while um, game is running. Our game is Lightroom, so we, we need to lock this while Lightroom is running, um, because Patty's running as well, so this thing sometimes gets confused of what is what is on top. So best to just lock it. Whenever Lightroom is on, this profile is going to be active. Uh, hit OK, and we're done on this one. I'm going to hide the profiler. Obviously, we need to run this when the G13 is running, so don't forget to either put this in the auto start or start it whenever you want to use it. Okay, going into Patty, uh, very quickly, Patty, Preferences, Basic Setup, here we find our external keyboard options, and we have to make sure that the Logitech here is uh, clicked on. As you can see, I'm using it with the X keys together. I actually have another test for the user-defined keyboard, so you can run quite a few external keyboards, and as you can see, my MIDI controller here in parallel uh, on Patty now. Um, you almost don't need your normal keyboard anymore if you set this up um, the way you want it. So now we're done. We hit OK. In Assign, we have the G13. Here it is. Three layers. Um, the setup here is keys 1 through 22. Here's a little joystick, and I can click on these and I can start assigning, but what's even cooler is I can just hit a key here, key 1, key 2, can move the joystick, and you can see it moves to the uh, respective keys. So, a uh, quick example, um, on key 1, let's just uh, say we select uh, Temperature, okay, key 2, um, key 2, we select the uh, tint, okay, and then in a layer 1 joystick up, I'm going to move the selected slider up medium, and joystick down, I'm going to move it down medium. Hit OK, all right, G1, we selected the temperature, move it up, there you go, moves up, moves down nicely in 5 intervals. Those are the Patty intervals. If you want to change this, you have to go to Assign, Preferences, Slider, Move, Delta. So you can see our medium is 5 here. Just for example, let me change this to 4. And then I move my little joystick up and now moves 4. And remember, I go to the... Uh, I have, I have sec several layers here. I haven't assigned this, I just realized. So I go to Assign, G13, second layer, key up, I actually, my, my layer 1 was medium, so say my second layer, I want to move this uh, up a small portion, down, and my second layer, I want to move it, uh, this one, I want to move it down a small portion. There you go. So second layer, now we're moving up. This is a JPEG, hence this temperature range. 
um, first layer by moving down the larger uh, intervals, and you can use the third layer as well. Let's see whether these are just example pictures I'm using to test, but I'm using NEF, so quite screwed up actually from testing. So there you go. Uh, first layer, select the temperature. It moves up as you can see in reasonably large intervals. Select the tint. I'm moving my tint here. All and if I'm if I was a gamer, I would actually probably be able to do this with a joystick. Uh, as it is, um, uh, not quite that skilled, but it does work. Um, one one thing that uh, uh, some folks have thought about is say I take this key 24 and under select and move slider, you can actually see this. Um, uh, select previous and select next slider. So we're going to do select next slider and for the key 23 here we're going to do select previous slider. So now um, I'm in exposure, can move the exposure up, click, I'm in contrast, move the contrast, click, click, I'm in shadows, nope, I'm in highlights, there's shadows, click, click, I'm in whites, blacks rather, click, clarity, and I'm moving up, one, two, I'm back at whites. So uh, if you if you're comfortable sort of as a gamer with your thumb, uh, uh, you know, moving up and down here, you can you can see I cycle through these uh, quite rapidly through my sliders. And so say I want to change blacks. Here's I'm changing blacks, change whites. Here's I'm changing whites, and so on. Very cool, very cool little keyboard. Not that expensive. Uh, I encourage you to play around with it if you don't want to invest in something large like the X keys, uh, the Logitech G13. Uh, G13 um, works quite well with Paddy natively. Have fun testing, have fun editing.